clip on deck. up from there it was all right right picking it up from there and dropping it off it'll be early in the fucking morning man i ordered some bubble car tacos from there never again never again man, this light's not gonna fucking change man Fucking changed. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> Man.
What the fuck? This motherfucker has me. <laughs> Doing another fucking oop to you. Fuck you, John Gilmore. <laughs> Just working with the school. Hello. Enter your drop off at Center for Legal and Social Justice. You put in that legal work today. Get out this way. Criminal lawyer? Mm -hmm. You gotta be DA first, right? Mm -hmm. 
not really. That's that's best so you can rub the elbows with the judges and the other ones so you can make the the, the cop out deal, right? <laughs> no, you want to be a trial lawyer. You gotta go where the money's at it. If you can, there's a lot of cop out lawyers that's that's good for that though. Turn right on Northwest 36th Street. Well that's good, that's good to hear. The money will come eventually, right? So they say. In a quarter mile, drop off Jasmine on the right. So you're going to fight for social justice? Um, yeah. That's hard, though. Yeah. Like, not doable. <laughs> it's a, going, a ghost going against the machine, really. Yeah. Stop right here in the middle of the street. So we best go that way, or? Yeah. Do you see where that red truck is? Under? Turn left, then turn right. right as I can. I'll just back it up. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you. Head to your pickup at 211 Hellcrest Drive. Thank you. You're welcome. I almost said that's what I should have been a lawyer because I like to argue. What the fuck you talking about, Grandma? You're a good arguer.
Hello. Hello. Head to your drop off at Grossman International Conference Center. Mm -hmm. Head to your drop off at Grossman International Conference Center. Turn left on oh, yeah, the shirt. The jersey, the shorts. <laughs> for, the, for the Spurs, you sign yeah. uh, I hope he get a free throw at these. Oh, man, that Jeep's in the wrong spot, man. Walmart is kind of dead out here. Yeah, it is. Like, it's <laughs> a lot more dead than I expected. Oh, did you see any other Uber cars driving around? Um, just me. No. I think it was just you. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one out here. There's no one out here. I guess it's good for me then. <laughs> and for me. <laughs> well, my name is Chris, and I'll be your driver, and I'm recording for our safety. Oh, okay, sweet. I appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. Me too. I got the meta glasses on, so when I see something crazy, or when I see them construction workers not working at all, I beef with them boys. I beef with them boys. I got some people backing me up on YouTube, so. <laughs> Even from Austin. Because the same shit is happening over there. I dropped somebody in Austin, uh. Not this Sunday, last Sunday. Then I asked them, said, how long they've been working on this freeway right here? They said for years. Like, oh, y'all must have the same construction company we have over there in San Antonio. Yeah, there's, there's way more money in Austin to get. Well, it's a little bit of a larger city. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's small. It's small. I don't, I don't think it, it doesn't even have money. familiar with the, the streets or nothing so or the the highway and you're so confusing because they're, they're all on top of each other yeah it really doesn't help that we do have construction going on so that really yeah so use the roads. and just right now they're when I was going to drop uh, the lady was dropping her kids off at school so we're going that way uh, towards Austin I-35. I guess it takes them like, it was like 10 o'clock. I'll take that back, like 11 o'clock. They're barely putting their boots on and shit. I'm like, so what y'all been doing from that time to that time? I recorded them with my glasses. But we're coming back, man. The line was so long going. But it looked like they was finally doing a little something. But you can't be doing nothing in front of all these taxpayers, man. Electric stops quick. Oh, they just. No, I don't want to be that guy to hit somebody like that. Yeah, seriously. Some people don't look at the lights when the light turns green. They just go. And... Oh, I don't have to be in a rush. So try not to be. But when I was delivering food, I was always in a rush, and I don't I probably got pulled over like ten times. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, and I, only like three times they let me go. So I guess that's thirty percent is good. Good, I guess. One time it was the park police. I don't know what kind of police you are. You put the lights on them or pull over. He was the park police. I'm like, uh, uh, I don't. What is? I don't. I don't know the amount of authority you have. Yeah, I don't. I'm not in the fucking park, bro. But he, he just gave me a, a verbal warning. I, I guess I don't I don't I, I don't know like uh, the la the last one was a rolling stop. 
and he let me go. He already was gonna let me go before I even started opening my mouth. So I got, I got pulled over by Castle Hills and they let me go. I was yakety yak yak yak, <laughs> trying to talk my way out of that city. Didn't it work. Said I was going eighty and a sixty-five. I'm like, See, what about that charger that was right next to me? That's how I started it off. I shouldn't have yeah. put the blame game, but he said, oh, he started slowing down. I said, oh, yeah, only because he got off the freeway. Then I told him, I said, it would have been easier for you to pull him over because he was already getting off, so. <laughs> you know what, maybe you should go back find him. <laughs> but, but I got a spill, I give him. Because it's, it's always on the freeway I get pulled over, so. Like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, that took so long to stop. I said, I'm trying to trying to uh, get out the way so you don't. Come on, man. It's not pull over an ATB, bro. <clears throat> I said, oh, I'm sorry it took so long to stop, but I just try to get, get out of harm's way. I said, just in case you get hit, I'm going to have to save you. I just I softened him up with that one. Because if he gets hit, even if he gave me a, a hell of a speeding ticket, I'm not going to just watch him die in front of me. Yeah, because that's, that's just wrong. I told him, that's, it, that's just the humanity in me. I'm, I thought I told him I'm, I might have to save him. Because that's just... I don't care about the... Probably after, after I try to help save him, I might throw the ticket out there. Who knows? Man, what the fuck? It's going to give me all kind of bad, bad scores for... Stopping too fast. I was just coming this way. I dropped somebody off in that neighborhood and I was coming this way. Man, I'm sitting like three, four minutes. I'm like, so I said, man, let me go that way and do a U-turn. And then I catch it on this side, that, this one. I said, it's like, man. But if I would have stayed there, I would have been still sitting there. Because there's pressure points in that little that little street. That little crosswalk street. Are not those things on the tank? No, there are. There's pressure points, and there's a. Uh, they uh, they change with flash the highlights. They pull me over for that. I was in, I was in a Balcones Heights, leaving the charge station, and the light's sitting on red. I flashed the high beam two times. It helps change because it, it emulates the emergency vehicle. So, but when I did it, I just said, man, there's a policeman sitting on the line. So I got behind him. The light turned, so I, we both turned, and he pulls up into that little gyms or whatever. I go past him. He gets behind me. He lights me up. I'm like, I didn't have my camera. I didn't have my glasses. So I was just charging the car, so I'll be ready for the next day. And then, uh, before he even gets to the car, he's walking out. Corporal such and such by Coney Heights. And he said, I'll stop you because uh, you flash your high beam. Turn left on John and using the left like, what? Says, not so, Sir, I always flash my high beam at the, the stoplight. So I'm, I'm giving him, I'm telling him I'm breaking his law, you know. I, always, uh, I said, it helps the light change. Oh, it does? Start using that. Yeah. I was like, how, how you don't know that? I said, man, I said, yeah, I've been knowing that for over 20 years. I grew up in Houston, so, you know, I know 20 years ago, then, before you became a cop, then. I'm not telling him all that part. Then he says, yeah, I always pull people over when they flash the high beam. I'm like, don't you know you're violating people's civil rights by doing that? Well, of course, I'm not going to tell him that. I said, oh yeah, and I said, I, bla I, I flashed the high beam with the car when it's coming towards me and they got the high beam on too. He says, oh yeah, I flashed the lights at somebody when they got the high beams on too. If they don't turn them off, I'll pull them over. I'm like, you just admitted to me that you violated all these people's yeah. civil rights. And I didn't have the, I didn't have the camera on. I, and I was like, and then I got pulled over the next day. I got pulled over the next day by 
by uh, San Antonio PD. It's a rolling stop or not. Matter of fact, I do have it on my YouTube channel. If you care to check it out. That policeman was so cool. I talked to him for, I'm thinking, about like 10 minutes. Because I was asking him about that. He said, no, they, they, they're not supposed to pull you over when you're flashing the lights. He said, that's your constitutional right. He said, even if I'm, if I'm, he said he's bird watching, bird dog, dog, I don't know, some terminology he used, like when they're taking radar in the, you know, the school zone. He said, you can even flash the lights and let the people know that I'm sitting here taking radar. He said, I can't do nothing to you. So we asked, said, that's freedom of speech, right? He's like, yeah. He said, they shouldn't pull you over for that. Then I started talking to him about the construction workers not doing their job. Uh, he already let me go and gave me the warning ticket, but I'm just yakety yak yak. <laughs> I'm testing it for the next cop that I've run across. Because, <laughs> uh, from what I hear, Castle Hill's no. They don't give nobody break. They're, they're like a little more strict. Yeah, all, I think all the little municipalities inside San, San Antonio, not just San Antonio, and, and all 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 major cities, the little the little towns inside, that, that's how they make most of their money. It's traffic tickets. Because they say that hello, this is bad. Uh, Universal City. Uh, Leon Valley. All the little, the little municipalities inside. Yeah, right there, a car was trying to hit me, and I moved out the way. On the, the picture of that, the car tried to hit me, and I moved out the way. And when I moved out the way, they started spinning right in front of me. Then they started going backwards. I don't know how I started going backwards. Then they jumped the curb and they hit a fence. When I posted on YouTube, people started talking, talking crazy to me. Oh, you make them wreck. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I forward this to the San Antonio police and some other. Where are you at? Where do you live at? I'm like, I have it right there. San Antonio Road Rage, San Antonio, Texas. And the other one, oh, he lives in San Antonio. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go to the courthouse and show him this video. I'm like, You're not gonna do that. yeah. <laughs> but, but that, that, little did they know, they're helping me out. Because that interaction. It pushed the algorithm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I'm going back and forth with y'all. I'll go back and forth with y'all, right? And then, uh, like two weeks later, I'm charging at the charge station. And the police pull up. I got the metal glasses so when I see him. There's some other dudes charging too. And I'm talking to them. I say, hey, watch this, y'all. I said, excuse me, sir. Uh, do you have time to watch a video? There's two of them sitting there. They're like, yeah. So I'm bleep, bleep. I recorded them watching the video. I still haven't tagged. I still haven't tagged those people who are getting into it, so we can get at it some more to help my help me out. You know, they just don't know. Uh, they know. They probably know. But one of the officers like, well, what happened? What happened? The other one's like, oh, he tried to. Yeah, I said, yeah, he tried to clip me, man. I moved out the way. If I thought I would have did something wrong, I wouldn't have posted it. Then, then some of my friends, man, go to those people's house where they hit the fence and show them the video. You see, because if they're doing that to you, they're doing that to everybody. I said, well, they're going to do it to the wrong person. They're going to get shot up. So, so, man, I don't feel like going out of my way to do all that. Then I'm gonna have to talk to the police and all this and all that, and it's just a headache in the making. Yeah, like then then one of my friends starts, oh, you might be culpable. I'm like, what? I said, what you mean? Yeah, well, you didn't start it, but you didn't digress either. I'm like, uh, well, well, what am I supposed to do? Like, I just got out the way. Now, now, how does this truck think he's going to do it? Yeah, he's smoking a cigarette thinking he's... Oh, come on, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, you saw him just... Now, I don't I don't, I don't like the 18-wheeler drivers. They'll get right over right next to you.
Like, hey, I'm right here, man. Like, <clears throat> but I have some yellow lenses. I put them on at nighttime. Does it help out with like the everyone's high beams and whatnot? Yeah. But they're not dark enough. They're not dark enough. But before I got these, I, I tried to make sure that I could get some aftermarket lenses. Because if not, I wasn't gonna want them. Because I'll drive. I'll drive a lot at night. But they're not dark enough. I don't think. But it still help. It still help a lot. Because. Uh, Do they make them any darker? I, I, I'll probably have to look. I'll probably have to look. But there's there's already some other glasses I'm looking at. Some sunglasses, but they cost like three hundred bucks. The ones that I want. Uh, I, don't, I guess I'll wait for these to get scratched or something because these, these lenses cost 30 bucks it's not much for I, I, I think it it helps me out a lot I, I, I do wear them in the day sometimes but I like these blue ones I don't know if you want them. they're they're they're, oh, yeah, I can see. they're 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 badass like they're polarized and all this other shit and, I don't know, know exactly what that means. I think reduce the glare. I can only assume so. But, but I think with the polar, like, fishermen like to use the polarized glass because you can see in the water. Because of the glare off the that. top. The glare at the top. Then my, my friend, my barber, he got him some. He got him some. He was in the army, so they paid for bulk of him. Cause I do wear glasses, and then uh, but now I'm wearing my contacts, and I don't really like white like wearing them that much. But I have to if I'm gonna wear these glasses. He told me, cause he went to the same place. He said, "Yeah, man, they they charged me seven hundred dollars for just the lens." I'm like, "What?" I said, well, sh I probably would have walked out of there if he would have told me that. You can keep those glasses. So he paid like eleven hundred dollars for the. Well, not him. I guess the taxpayers, because he was in the army. But he got the transitional lens, the one that turns clean. So I don't want the I don't want the ones that turn clean. That defeats the purpose of me wearing the contacts. Yeah, seriously. But the yellow heart helps a lot. It helps a lot because I'm like, if you because. What I've noticed since I'm driving a lot at night, about at least 40% of the people drive with their high beam on. I mean, you got these bright LED lights, you don't need the high beam, man. But they, they'll ride with the high beam on. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, you wanna go at it? I'll put the high beam on too. And they still don't turn it on. You're not gonna win, because this, this is an electric car with a with high beam on, it's real bright, man, real bright. And I got the yellow shades on, so you're not gonna, you're not gonna win this battle. I'm gonna win every time. I should just ride around with the high beams just like everybody else. But it just really lifts up the, the light. It doesn't concentrate more. Yeah. It, it, like it's lifts. gonna take. It cuts the edge. Yeah, but, but but man, this, they're amazing on this car. Though. Why is it didn't try to get me to take the free one? Oh, it did, but I just showed. Yeah, it does but it would have went. The GPS can be kind of weird sometimes whenever it comes to that area. Or whenever you turn two or three times in a row, it, it doesn't know where it's going. It's like yeah. a, Then I think I'm supposed to go this way, then it, it recalibrates. Oh, then I'm supposed to go that way. So I'll try to look before I do all those turns. So I can at least have an idea where I'm going before it recalibrates because I don't want to have to make a whole bunch of turns I don't I don't need to. I don't know whoever designed San Antonio wasn't much of a designer. I 
as far as the freeways and none of the streets go straight or I, I know because of this hilly way but it's not that hilly if you go to Austin it's very hilly so I've only been once or twice but yeah I had a quarter mile turn left yeah it's <laughs> very very, very hilly feel bad if you, you got to ride a bicycle or a skateboard you can walk with a skateboard but But within the first 30 minutes when I got there, I saw three Ferraris. Not three of them. In the first, like, 30 minutes, I saw, like, three Ferraris. One very, very badass one. And two, I guess, eh. <laughs> Mediocre ones. So I was like, man, I'm going to go over there. I'm going to go over there when it's kind of dead. I should have went over there today. But, uh... One of the tires is goes low, and so when I finally caught up to the people at the, because they charged me before my three weeks is up, they already charged me for the fourth week, man, and it's four hundred and sixty-five dollars. So I had to, hey, um, they move, they move location. They, they move location, so I had to hunt them down. I, I went to the to the one at the airport. And they told me where they were at. And in, the, in that parking garage, they have a. I recorded it with my glasses. They had a like the drive-through car washes in there. And the L damn, supposed to go that way, right? Now I'm gonna have to speed it, speed it up a little. Yeah, they had those drive-through car washes upstairs on the in the parking garage. Gas station, they have the gas station and the vacuum cleaner hooked on the same thing. I'm like, I'm trying to see if they have anything to plug up the car. talking so much. <laughs> I think I'm going to owe you a dollar or two. In a half mile, keep right toward West Pass Road using the right lane. And then I told the people at the Hertz place, I said, yeah, man, I saw the car wash and all that. And he said, uh, how did you get way over there? I'm like, uh, I don't know. I just drove over there. Yeah, but I told them, I said, yeah, man, they, they charge, they're, they're over billing me, man. And, well, that's the billing section. And I'm like, uh, you can't, can't call them? Is this two lanes or no? I really can't tell. It has me like going in a clover right here. <laughs> oh, now it's changing. I was like, uh, it's for, it's like five hundred dollars, man. I need that. Y'all don't need to be holding on to my five hundred dollars. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna dispute it right here on, on my side. Cause I was gonna let it ride, but then, you know, hopefully they'll credit to this next week. But how about if they charge me again? Cause it, it has two with the date ten o three. Cause I said, look, it has two with the ten o three on it. I was just trying to show him, you know, like, yeah, yeah. They said, Oh, you might want to go to the bank. I'm like, Yeah, y'all mistake is costing me my time, man. So I went to the pet boys because I told him about the tire. Then when I get there, the guy goes out and looks at the tire. He said, Man, you need like a whole new set. I said, What? He says, he says How long you had them tires on the car? I said, Man, it's a rental car, man. Uh, he should have figured that out. I thought he should have figured that out. He said, well, he said, well, we'll see if we can get you all four in. I said, well, it doesn't matter to me. It's not my car, so you can put three, you can put two, or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, you can put all four. I don't 
but they're charging them, so. And I know they're not selling the cheap ass tires, because these uh, EVs, they're very heavy, and they, that's why I was like, man, it has 70,000 miles. What do you mean they haven't changed the tires on here? So that just letting me know the people at the Hertz place is not on there. Yeah, like, uh, if you're going to let the people ride with 70,000 miles on an electric car, which it wears down the tires faster because it's heavier. And it, it takes off fast, too, so it, it leaves more rubber on the road. So this morning when I look, there are the bank already gave me my money back. Oh, that's good. So they were like, take it out, then put it back, then take it out again. I'm like, well, just take it out one time, man. They're trying to confuse somebody, man. And Why did they take it out and put it back? I don't, I don't understand. They're trying to see if I got the money. Well, why don't y'all wait till the end of the week? That's what I thought they was doing. Wait till the end of the week to make sure I, have, I made the money. Because you could start doing Uber just through a rental car. But they got me though. With, oh, well, I got this one electric car. There's only two places you can rent a car to do that. I try to rent a car by myself because I jumped the curb, you know. My tire was like this and shit. There, go, there goes the park, please. Now, we are in the park now, though, right? <laughs> what is it right here? 35? <laughs> Let me go 25. He probably pulled me over for that. Yeah, so I went to Enterprise to go rent a car and they said, who you work for? I said, oh, Uber. They said, nah, we can't rent you a car. I'm like, what are you talking about? What's a conflict of interest like? How so? Because I'm, I'm supposed to put a thousand miles in, in one week, probably. <laughs> yeah, but who was safe? I was going to California and back in one week. Then what? But Uber, for Avis, the Uber has, they have their own fleet for Uber. Perks, they have their own fee for those. But when I took that car back, that first car I rented, it was, I had a, he told me I was 18 miles shy of 6,000 6, miles. I said, man, I tried to put 7,000 on there. <laughs> <laughs> Try to see what he's going to say, because I'm returning yeah. it. I'm returning it, so he said, well, it's unlimited mileage. I, I don't even know that. But I was trying to crack a joke at the same time, like, That's how much I would put a mile. My gas car, six thousand miles. But I'm getting seventy cents per mile now. There are there's some. I, I'm not understanding the math they're giving me on this because we can see our our tax return. But uh, only every month, and um, so I made six thousand and something. Then it has three thousand eight hundred for expenses and all this. I guess it's for the rental car. And the times I charge it up, it's like thirty eight hundred. I said, man, I'm, I'm, then I started thinking, I said, man, I'm only making not even $500 in a week. And I'm putting over 50 hours. Like, the math wasn't mathing to me. I'm, I don't know what's going on. And I don't even think it's worth renting the car. It's tax deductible, but I'm going to be in the higher tax bracket just for these three or four months. Yeah. This is going to be more than 10, 12,000. But that'll probably be great for. Uh, trying to buy a car or some shit like that you know makes it look like I'm making 120 when I'm only making 60 <laughs> oh yeah he can pay the car off fast like yeah the only way I'm gonna pay it off fast is by doubling up on the note because I think I'll be able to do that because if I'm able to pay almost 2,000 on the on the rental car it's like 18 1800 I think we came out of a different, man, well, I don't know. Are you familiar with this area? Um, <laughs> somewhat. I am Do I have to cash app you some money? Because I, I think it's going to charge you a dollar or two more. I don't know exactly. I don't know how that works. I don't think it should. 
Because mm-hmm. usually, uh, I thought the prices usually stay kind of static once uh, the ride starts, does it? No, because if it takes longer, they charge not even much more, 50 cent more, dollar more. Or one time I got caught on the, I was dropping dude off on the, in the morning at the airport, and I, I got him, I picked him up on the other side of 281, and I was on about 281 on the other side of 1604, and it was jam-packed. I think they only charged a couple more bucks. I think. Yeah, but it should be something that on our side, like if I take a wrong turn, that we're not, they're not charging y'all more when it's my fault. You, you know what I'm saying? In a quarter mile, turn left toward US Highway 281 North using. I'm not gonna miss it this time. Let me shut up. On my side, I don't know how much to charge y'all. For me, it Turn was, left toward uh, US Highway 281 North, then keep right onto East Hildebrand Avenue. Okay, well, at least they're not keeping half, they're almost keeping half. They send us the thing at the end of the week, they said they only kept 20% of keep right what the, East what the, Avenue. The, not including right. tip, but the tip only comes like, uh, like 10%. You know, I'm not doing it for the tip. I'm doing it for the fare. If they throw the tip, that's on them. Right on Appreciate it. But, you know, it's on them. Because it's high enough as, as it is without the tip. Keep left to stay on East Hildebrand Avenue. So this is an incarnate ward? Yes. So are you going to school? You're a teacher. Um, I'm a student. How much longer you got? I have, uh, I think maybe about three more semesters. Keep left to stay on East Hildebrand Is there a lot of foreign students here? Uh, yes, I know that there is, um, they have a whole international program because we have a couple sister schools uh-huh. overseas. Because I picked up a couple different times. I picked up some girls from Spain and I picked up some girls from France. Yeah, it's a nice little melting pot around here. Well, I guess that's good, right? Better for them because they're getting used to American culture. Mm-hmm. And who gets out of it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> well, have a good day, ma'am. Thank you. Sorry, sorry for the wrong turn. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's a simple mistake. Yeah, because I was talking. I hope you have a good day. Yeah, you too, ma'am. Freeway, that's 281, but I'm not gonna I'm not get it on the fucking freeway. If I don't have to get on the freeway, I ain't getting on the freeway. But when I went that way, that's what I understand. I went that way, and I turned to the right. 
I'll come out this fucking way. Come on, y'all gonna stop for the last ride away. There it is, that's the end of it. Damn, I gotta turn the other way around. Head to your pickup at Chick fil A. No. Come on, these motherfuckers ain't going. Come on, man. I just did the, the UEs and shit, so. Alright, back on track. Three dollars first tip I got today. Appreciate you. Let's go get that boxing game, man. I'll fuck around, and start playing. I won't even go back to work.
turn, what the fuck? Start a new clip, y'all.